Welcome to Zoonology. The Bar-Headed Goose, Answer Indicus. Everyone is pretty familiar with geese in general, and their willingness to attack humans, especially when they're guarding eggs or goslings. Well, the Bar-Headed Goose is no different than the other goose species, except if you were to compare the other species of geese to, say, a World War I era biplane, the Bar-Headed Goose would be Air Force One. Bar-Headed Geese breed by mountain lakes in Central Asia Russia, Mongolia, Tibet, Kazakhstan, etc., and head to South Asia as far as the southern tip of India for winter. This map displays the summer range of bar-headed geese, and as you can see, bar-headed geese obviously made a deal with nature that in exchange for being living Boeings, they have to provide Asia with a sweet summer goose goatee. Now, to get from their northern habitat to their southern one, or the other way around, bar-headed geese would have to fly through areas where winter storms or monsoons are likely, and subsequently, their death. So what alternative route do the bar-headed geese have to take? Well, it turns out, they fly over the Himalayas, a flight path that would be certain death for nearly every other bird. Yeah, those Himalayas, the Mount everest -y ones. That's right, they fly over the mountain range, with 9 out of the 10 tallest peaks in the world. Studies place the bar-headed geese's maximum altitude between 21,000 feet, or 8,000 meters, and 29,500 feet, or around 9,000 meters. Either way, these are heights at which kerosene will not burn, helicopters cannot generate enough lift to fly, and your skin, if unprotected, would freeze instantly. In addition to flying ridiculously high, bar-headed geese have a faster rate of ascent than any other recorded bird. And while these geese take their migration in stages, the segment that travels over the Himalayas is done in one non-stop seven-hour push. Seven hours. This would literally kill any other animal attempting to do the same. Sure, there are one or two birds that can fly higher. Rupel's griffin, for example, which can reach 11,278 meters, but not for seven hours over a frigidy mountain range. A mountain range. Bar-headed geese are able to survive this insane flight because of the physiological and anatomical adaptations they inherited via evolution. Air, at high altitudes, is less dense than at sea level, meaning oxygen is more difficult to get. Additionally, thinner air means that birds have to flap their wings especially hard to maintain flight. Flying at such an altitude requires 10 to 20 times the normal oxygen intake from air that is a quarter as thick as at sea level. Bar-headed geese are able to handle this because 1. They have larger lungs than other birds. 2. They have a mutant form of hemoglobin, the oxygen binding protein complex in red blood cells that more easily binds to O2 than the hemoglobin of other birds and other terrestrial animals. 3. Their heart has more capillaries to keep it well oxygenated than most birds. And four, the distance between their capillaries and mitochondria, the organelles responsible for energy production, of their flight muscle is minimized for faster oxygen diffusion. Fun making of fact, while looking for good pictures to use for this video, I went through three pages of images before I realized that I accidentally searched for brawl-headed geese. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time when I discuss another animal. Feel free to make suggestions if there's a specific animal you want me to do. Also, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, you know, because, please, thank you for watching, and remember, curiosity fed the fairies.